you really might want to get that checked out, but you might get beat fucking hard. I'm powerful. <laughs> well, what are you talking about? What? Powerful. Hey, guys, hey, guys. Yo, they were saying powerful. <laughs> you told me a story a long time ago. They said he was beaten off and sneezed at the same time he busted nuts. He had no time to grab a towel and catch his towel the way down. That was your story. I was, uh, Go ahead. Go ahead. I gotta think oh. about this. I was beaten off and sneezed and came at the same time. That seemed like something hard to do. <laughs> yeah, it does. Well, it's you know, Eddie, not me. I didn't make this shit up. Your your personal sexual experiences are like Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> 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 It's just what you do. It's like, I'm going to do something impossible. It's like, who does that? Who can do it? You drove the Hummer up the tree. You walked the car like a goddamn transformer when you go to my house. Ain't nobody able to do that shit. This nigga walks out of a fucking police car pile up. With his fucking, how do you do this? He literally walked backwards out and then flipped around and then drove away. He didn't get off this shit. They didn't blow his car up or nothing. I'm like, how do you do this shit? This nigga crashed into everything first. But he can do that. Like, you can't never get the streets from Santos. <laughs> but you, a walker car. Ain't that a bitch. Well, how's my sexual experiences like Grand Theft Auto? What the fuck? Because you do impossible shit. Was what he was saying. What did I do that was impossible? Gatorade? No, that ain't impossible. Yeah, that ain't impossible. The Gatorade bottle was just me being young, dumb... Fucking a Gatorade bottle, going to the hospital. Oh, oh, it was a hospital. Yeah, because wait a minute, you didn't tell us that part. I did tell you. The thing, okay, this is what happened. No, 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 look, look, no, this is what happened. After I got, after I could not get the bottle off, right? I had to cut part of the bottle off, but I still had the lip part around my way. So after trying different things like Cisco and all that, I mean that's Crisco. I mean, after trying. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. At the car, Chris. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Cisco is not supposed to work. Although, oh, when you think about it, it probably should have worked. <laughs> yeah, but it went, I don't know what happened. It didn't slide off, so I was like, alright, fuck it. Worst comes to worst, I gotta show my mother, so I went. Told my mother about it. <laughs> And then she was like, well, we got to go to the hospital. All right, so we went to the hospital. We just put down that I was there for a regular checkup because I couldn't put what I was really there for. So we went to the doctor's, you know, office. It was a lady, so I'm like, cool. So, you know, she did the, the regular blood pressure and all that type of stuff. And she's like, well, is there anything else? And we was like, uh, yeah, kind of. So I dropped my pants, showed her that. She said, oh, my, I left the room. Next thing, <laughs> next thing I know, a group of students come in. <laughs> I gotta see this shit. So now, I feel, so now I feel like OJ and shit after he got caught trying to steal his shit back. And <laughs> look, looking at everybody, she wanted me to show everybody that shit. I'm like, um, no, I ain't dropping my pants for all these motherfuckers. So then the doctor, he finally comes in. And he just talking about we gotta cut it off. I'm like, no, I need my thing. He was like, no, we're not talking about the thing. We can just cut the little part off and you'd be cool. I'm like, alright, cool. So that's wow. what, that was the Gatorade bottle incident. But that's it. One nigga got like shit like Watergate. <laughs> Dude, they have scandals. He doesn't have to have regular sex stories. He has scandals. <laughs> How? Come on, man. There's nothing. I'm sure Gabe Bay would not appreciate that. Who? I don't imagine so many people show up to the emergency room and they get it stuck in them. <laughs> no, they said it, it happens before. It's like the little cock rings that people be getting. Uh-huh. They can make your wings well swell up. I don't know cock rings they get, but okay. Well, they get the metal ones. <laughs> the metal ones? Why the fuck would you get a metal? That's stupid. I don't know. Well, that's, that's just dumb as shit. But, yeah, I, I hear you. Hey, well, what's the difference between the metal one and the other one? Well, one you can take off damn near at will. Uh, <laughs> the metal ones, I don't imagine they'd be too easy to take off. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, should things go wrong or whatever... I think you pretty much just be stuck, so. Yeah. So, you can be fucking bust and then never be able to go there. The blood might still be trapped. 
Right. That's the whole purpose of the bathroom. <laughs> right. Now I've seen leather. I've seen nylon. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen, I've seen silicone. But I've never heard of that. <laughs> leather? <laughs> Why don't, you do the, why don't you do the ghetto way and just take an ace bandage, cut it like down the middle, and just use that? Just wrap it up. <laughs> well, hell, if that's the case, you are like old. <laughs> you are like the damn dog on the commercial that looks sad as shit with that fucking thing wrapped around his head. <laughs> Nigga, stupid. Yeah, bro, that's not you, you. Uh, 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 uh. 